having their huddles now. Yeah, you can probably hear them getting ready to go. Slightly smaller crowd than the Roller Derby City track at the moment, but I imagine that once once the game of theirs finished, we're going to be uh, having a few guests going over. It's been great to watch today, hasn't it? Seeing the, the, the crowds move from track to track in between Absolutely games. Absolutely fantastic. And it gets so packed in here, and the noise is just incredible. The support coming from the fans, not only for their home teams as well, but for all of the teams around the world. So it's absolutely incredible atmosphere. This is Megan, your referee liaison. Bob's the one producing, so he'll be the one to tell. Oh my goodness, the roar that's coming from across the futsal arena. Yeah, I know Scotland have uh, brought a very vocal uh, fan base along with them today <laughs> with, the, with their drums and trumpets. It's been great to see. Meanwhile, here in the quad skate shop track, gear checks are underway. Uh, looks like the latest scores from the Roller Derby City track are Belgium 82, Scotland 91. So that is quite a close game as it stands. Could go either way. As when we get the final scores through, we'll feed that back to you because that'll be just after we're getting started. That's right, it's a tight schedule today. And straight from one game into the next one. As Bob said, we're running through, straight through for the 30 minutes, no stoppages, no timeouts in between these games. No half time. My goodness, I can't believe how loud it is and we're not even <laughs> in the thick of it just now. That's going to be migrating this way soon, so I hope that uh, I hope that you're still going to be able to hear us. Yeah, we're just having some tape applied to one of the German skaters' wrist guards by the look of this. Uh, meanwhile, the teams are lining up on the jammer line. So ready for a start. Looking at that so far, I'm, I can't quite see who we've got on the JAMA line for the German team, but it looks like Killian David for the French team. Possibly Baltic. I saw a flash of a three and a zero, so. Yeah, I'll go with that. 308. Still getting sorted here, the officials checking the watches. Team France will just take the opportunity to have a bit of a huddle in front of the jammer line. If there's any extra little bit of time, the teams definitely use it wisely. They're like, oh, there's a few minutes. It's an official timeout. <laughs> just making sure that everybody's uh, well watered before we get going. Key, key to be hydrated. Yes, yeah, that's a massive message we've heard quite often this weekend so far, and it's still only the first day. <laughs> it is 2.30. Thank you once again for joining us. You are seeing Team Germany and Team France on the quad skate shop track. And time has been whistled on by the head ref. Five seconds away from the start. Okay, that's the first jump saw. No movement yet. <laughs> A fight off of the line for the, the jam line. The pack is pretty stationary. A multiplayer block. Sending a couple of the German team to the penalty box. My goodness, straight off of that first jump. Killian now struggling, he's been recycled towards the rear of the pack, having to come back in. There he goes, he's out through from the jammer, and he has got five points on that pass. Baltic struggling at the back of that pack for behind the French blockers to get through. Coming back up now, Baltic really struggling up against Slash Gordon at the back there. Jammer ref indicating another five points. 
Saw Killian David. So Cobble of Our play penalties, the hood whistles uh, sending another one of the German team to the penalty box. So they've got two blocks on the track at the moment. Unable to contain the French chairman this time through. Killian David three for another five points. Beautifully signaled there by Cherry Fury. Baltic still struggling with those back walls. Trying to juke in around the outside, back to the inside, but no, they are well spread across that track. So the French skaters taking advantage of the fact that German, Germany were recently on the other track. Yeah, Killian David definitely looks happy with that swing in the helmet cover around on his fingers. It's been great to see this army of volunteers here today, tending to the track repairs between every jam. Absolutely, they are hot on it today. There's going to be about seven layers of tape by the time we finish the tea tonight. All right, second jam underway. Team France with the packet baby. Both teams skating a little short. Two blockers on the track for the French team, three on the track for the German team. Ooh, jammer down at the front of the pack there. Goodness me. It's East Sider. East Sider, thank you. It's a little tricky to see them off there because we are facing right down the front straight away, so we can't see the back of the jammers to work that out straight away. If you're enjoying listening, drop us a few uh, quid, dollars, or other currency using the link on the broadcast page. Uh, split 50-50 between us and the team's travel funds. Yeah, we wouldn't be here without your help today, so thanks very much for getting involved. It's been a, it's an absolute pleasure to see these guys coming from all over the world to take part. All right, Killian David through once again, the jammer. Got some fancy footwork and some great acceleration off the front of the pack there. Absolutely. Good jammer on jammer action through the middle of the pack there. Bloodred Kelly jamming for Team Germany. And we've got some jammer on jammer. Slowing it up and coming through uh, turn two there. Taking Bloodred Kelly out onto the track and he's recycling him back. Killian David with the upper hand here. He's taking him way back and feeding him back into the pack. Both jammers now back on the track, coming up to the back of the pack. We're trying to break through. Killian David going in for the booty block, but didn't manage to break a hole there. So where does that leave us now? Germany with four points. France with 40. 25 minutes left to play, just over. France taking the early lead. Green Monster Roller Sports, all new. Visit us today at grnmnstr.com. Okay, next jam away. Oh, we're seeing Baltic jamming once again. He's managing to uh, try and break his way through past that front line. Doesn't manage to keep down. But Elgato jamming for the French team. Now having to recycle to the back of the pack. Baltic now recycled to the back of the pack as well. Trying to find a break on that inside line. Didn't quite manage to find it, but he got the track cut because he came off of the track on the inside. Now leaving France with a power jam situation. Elgato. Happy with that. Yeah, it looked to be an unintentional cut there as well. I think just he just nicked a little bit back in with the front of his skate. Not managing to quite keep it out. Outside of the track, absolutely filling up now. Five more points on the board. El Gato. The French jammer signalling to his wall there as he comes towards the back of it as well. All right. And there's another German blocker off to the rollers, Derby City penalty box, but he's waved off. 
think we look like it looks like the box is full at the moment. Both blocker seats taken, so there's two blocks on the track. He's going to be queued. SL Gasso comes through, picking up another five points for the Grand Slam. And that's the jam pulled off. France just racking up those points now. Germany's still sitting on four. France now. Can you see the scoreboard from there? Yeah. 60 for France. 60. So that was a 20 point jam. Next jam brought to you by GBEMS, the only UK RDA endorsed medical team. Where would we be without them? I love Team Green. Okay, so Germany now, uh, two blockers on the track. Uh, France full force on the track. Killian David now not having an awful lot of work to do. Chased out in front there, but yeah, out of play warning comes from Stubble Entendre, so needs to rejoin the pack and re-enter the engagement zone. So Team Germany's jammer now back into the back of the pack as well. Still coming up against those walls, absolutely solid. These French walls at the back there. Charles Martel doing a phenomenal job of keeping Baltic down. They're also doing a phenomenal job of getting out of the way for their own jammer. Killian David taking a bit of a tumble there, but he manages to make his way through, picking up a further five points. I think every time we've seen these passes, they're five points, five points, five points. This is going to be a multiples of five looking likely for the score at the end of this. Multiplayer block called. And that's sending the French pivot to the penalty box. Uh, looks like it was Coast Buster. Oh no, sorry, it was Cripple Crow. And he's being sent around for another lap around the outside by the look of that. He may have crossed the line. I think he did. One toe past that line, you've got to re-enter legally from the correct direction. And Team France taking, it looks like, 19 points from that jam. Yep, four in that last pass. Germany on six points now. France ahead on 79, just over 21 minutes left on the, pe on the period clock. And this jam is brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby kit and merch. So the penalty is certainly taking precedence in this game so far. France again, Rocky Bush now, lead jammer. I don't think we've seen the German lead so far. Pack breaking up quite a bit there. So we're seeing JC on his way to the penalty box for, uh, I think it was a destruction of pack major. Looks like the uh, German skaters are starting to get a little bit tired as well. I think going from one bout straight into another. France have had the advantage of having a little bit of a break since their last game. 007 for Germany too, uh, Skagen Smooth. He's a big lad. He's, he's going to be in the front wall there, just with the two of the blockers on the track of Germany in the green. Killian David finds a little hole and exploits that beautifully to get through for Lee Jammer. This time that two wall of Germany able to almost stop Killian David from getting through. Killian now through for another five points. Blood Red Kelly really struggling to break past those French walls at the front. Those walls moving as one throughout the pack. Haven't those red walls been strong today? They're like phenomenally strong. And oh, a little bit of opposition up at the front of that pack there. Sends Killian David down on the outside of the track. And it's a track cut penalty. He yeah. was Looks like the referee calling that he had started to get up while his wheels were still inside the track. Yeah. Track cut penalty there. David, so the uh, team now with the advantage of the power jam is going to be running for the full two minutes. It's 53 seconds left. Oh my goodness, there is one <laughs> of a lot of people on the inside of the track there. This case is all trying to recycle one by one. A lot of blocks knocking them towards the inside. 
Bloodred Kelly through on his initial pass and he's struggling to get through for a scoring pass. All right, the Germans holding up a wall at the back now, anticipating their jammer coming through. What are they going to do? They're going to try and break some time. Oh, no, we're going to see. having a star pass. So we're seeing JC, number 77, the German team, now donning the pivot. Oh, jammer helmet cover just as the whistle goes to end the jam. My goodness, he didn't have an awful lot of time there, did he? No, not at all. What a shame. It's good to see the Germans staying cool under the pressure that they're facing at the moment. Absolutely. They, they, uh, they may be tired, but they're still keeping the energy up and playing really well. They're very, very focused in this game. I think they'll have a well-deserved rest after this. Fast Girls Skate are serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. Visit www.fastgirlskates.com. Okay, next jump underway. Strength in the blockers at the front of the pack there and the German team. Oh my goodness, but not managing to keep Elgato down. We've got what, uh, number 101 Bruce Wheelie's on his way to the penalty box there. There's a penalty called. Mahatma Bronson giving chase to the French jammer at the front of the pack there. Charles Martel on his way to the penalty box. So three, three blockers at least on the track now. Five more points on the board for the French team. Baltic struggling to find that inside line, being picked at the post as he's trying desperately to get through. Slash Gordon recycling him back as far as he can go, and the jam is called off. So just over 16 and a half minutes of play left. Germany in the green with 10 points, France in the red with 106. The Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for men's flat track roller derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of men's roller derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. I like how you say derby. <laughs> I know, I've been, I've been flipping between derby and derby. I think possibly in England we might be the only people to say derby, but we have a city that's called derby, so... Anyway, <laughs> back to the track. Rocket Bush now coming through for the French team. Picking up five more points. If you're just tuning in, Team France are in the red today, Team Germany in the green. Team Germany reforming a tight wall at the front there. Power jump situation in play for the French team. And doing a great job of containing that French jammer there right now. Excellent up at the front of the pack there. Bridging it out as far as he could possibly go and legally stay in play and within the engagement zone and as part of the pack. Communication's been really strong with, uh, between these German players today. Good, listening to those calls immediately. The out of play was called and he ceased contact back into the pack. Very nice, quick reforms. Pulling yeah. it off as he hits the front wall there. Fast Girl Skates, their knowledgeable staff, represents all facets of roller derby. WFTDA, USARS, MRDA, JRDA and Banked. They can relate and have what you need. Largest selection on skates and gear for everyone. Women, men and juniors. It's about you at Fast Girl Skates. Thanks, Bob. Looks like we've got the German jammer, I think. Looking at the number, it's Baltic. He's standing in the penalty box, so he's going to be getting off very quickly as uh, Killian David now coming through for the French team, he's through for Lee Jammer, had the uh, advantage of the extra bit of time on the track there. Green Jammer is east side of the German Jammer. 
but once again that tight French red wall. My goodness. Almost a show of brute strength for these guys to um, stay in bounds up on the toe stop sometimes. Absolutely, and they are riding those lines. So JC once again taking the Jammer helmet cover. As the pivot, obviously you have that extra special capacity there to take that coming through and looking for that inside line to try and pick up some more points from the German team. Very strong on the inside, but did actually cut the track. So Jammer started in the box and it could possibly be ending in the box. And a couple of green blockers on the floor at the moment. And through for another five points is Gillian David. And the Team Germany are a blocker down now. Just the one in the penalty box. It's a uh, oh, little bit of a tumble for the French skaters on the outside. It's Gillian David now through, picking up a the five points. The German team uh, and struggled to put him down because he was wasting that. Oh, but down the fancy footwork. Pulls it off the floor on the inside. A little hop, skip, and a jump didn't turn out exactly how he'd hoped for it to. Don't forget to keep track of what's going on here on Instagram and Twitter, which you can. Hashtag MRDWC. There are also independent track feeds MRDWC, QSS track, and RDC track. Absolutely, you can keep a track of what's going on. A track of what's going on. <laughs> I see what you did there. No, it wasn't intentional, and it was a uh, okay. So, French team through again. It's uh, Rocket Bush, and he's through for lead jammer. And the German team are awaiting their jammer to return to the track and one of the blockers as well. Cheers. But very strong blocking up the front there. Not managing to keep Rocket Bush down. There's only so far that you can go. All right, full team back on the track for the Germans. Oh, look at JC. Termination on JC's face then as he came through the pack, but he's picked up a cutting the track. Goodness. He was on and then straight back off again. So the Germans now have got um, some hard work to try and keep the keep the French team in check. It's a good solid wall of blockers up at the front there. Absolutely holding them down at the front. Managing to take all oh, the leg over the outside there. now coming up in the front of the pack trying to break through oh manages to <laughs> send him in a spin east side of there coming through and he has another five points on the board for that one slash gordon signaling him to, to him to keep going coming up through on the outside not managing to get back in trying to recycle there but uh, blocked on the way back French team very conscious of uh, where everybody is on the track. You can see a real difference in the wall formations between these two teams. The French team in red standing shoulder, whereas the, uh, the German blockers standing more side on. I think the German blockers have, they have a lot of smaller players for the blockers. So uh, the tactics are possibly slightly different for that reason. Less than 10 minutes to go in this uh, bout now. We've got France leading after a 29-point jam. 204, Germany on 10. Okay, so it looks like we have number 77, JC, for Germany in the green. He's fouled out, so he has left the track. With these shortened 30-minute bouts today, uh, four majors is enough to foul a, a skater out. So JC picking up four and he's sitting out for the rest of this bout. Okay, so Baltic now back in action, furiously trying to break through those walls at the front for the uh, French skaters. I think Kelly and David having a really hard time, sorry Bob. Determined to try and get a, a lead jam. 
Oh, not quite. Hicks to it. Held back on that back line there. It was a really strong force through the, the rear of the pack, but then recycled towards the back again. So Baltic is coming up on the back of the pack now, but jam called off before Germany can add any points to their score. The next jam is going to be brought to you by GBEMS, the providers of event medical cover and ambulance transport across the UK. Of the both tracks here today. Thanks, Bob. Okay, so the next jam, El Gato skipping through on his toe stops there on the outside. Jammer for the French team in red. And east side. As the green is up, Andy on. Elgato now on his way to the penalty. Racing out of bounds penalty. So that sees the Germans with the advantage of a power jam. A clockwise block. Sending the French pivot that is Slash Gordon on his way to the penalty box as well. Oh, goodness. So we've now got East Sider on his way to the penalty box. So we're going to see a switch of the jammers. And East Sider's going to sit for as long as the French jammers been sitting. Pack now, stationary track, just anticipating the return of the French jammers to the track. Here he comes up towards the rear of that front line of German blocking. At Manages to pick up a grand slam for the five points there. And it's a no pass, no penalty. Called and reformed quite quickly. Penalty box now M2. Both teams, all of their skaters back on the track. You can see a little bit of jammer action here. I think it's the first time we've seen them actually coming out, exiting the pack around about the same time. And East Sider being signalled four points added to Team Germany's score for that jam. I think they've waited quite a few jams for that now. They have. That'll be a very welcomed uh, adage to their score. So Germany now on 14 points and France with 218. France in the red, Germany in the green. Thank you very much for joining us here for the Men's Roller Derby World Cup skates shop track and you're watching team green take on team france in red oh we have an official time out but this doesn't stop the clock but we're just going to hopefully have a couple of seconds just to clarify fast girls expertise customer service and fast economical shipping www.fastgirls.com military discounts. We are back in play now. That's what I like. A nice, quick, official timeout. Yep, remember the clock doesn't stop at all for these timeouts. It's still going to run regardless. Just for these short 30 minute bouts. Oh, Killian David taking the outside line there. There was quite a considerable gap and he spotted it and took it to his advantage. Bolton now trying to find same gap and push through, but Maya Yanis on the inside there, knocking him down and trying to recycle back as far as it could go. And no pass, no penalty call because they both went down on the inside. So he didn't pass him, but he wasn't penalised or didn't get the point either. French team are calling off Jam for Baltic can make it back. Points. Just over four minutes left on the period clock now. up now with just four minutes left to go in this bout France still carrying a convincingly 
Ladies 14. Robert Bush bouncing off and um, coming out the front of the pack to take lead down. And that's Mahatma Bronson wearing a green pajama pack for German. That's one of the, is it his first jam or one of the first jams you've uh, seen him? I think he may have been on one time before. Hanel Heroes now at the back of the pack signaling, here I am. Two and a half minutes left on the period clock. Be yeah. the penultimate jam, possibly. Gillian David now coming through, managing to pick up Lee, just about staying on his feet at the front there. Making those toe stops come in useful. Oh, a big hit at the back of the pack there. East side are really struggling to get past Lash Gordon, trying to take it on the outside line, but the French are absolutely relentless. Killian David now, skating backwards around the track. I think he's just showing off. I think he is. <laughs> oh, nearly had, nearly had East Sider in the crowd there. As he comes back in behind Slash Gordon. Gonna have a tussle as soon as they get into the engagement zone. And knocked onto the inside. Slash Gordon, I think, almost taking a step out there as well. But relaxed and buttercup off to the Roller Derby City penalty box. A minute and a half, just a little bit left side on the penalty clock. On the period clock now. Gillian David just sailing through and in and out of the pack. Five point signal from the referees. German team now going for yet another star pass. Is it their third one this bout? Yeah, yeah. We've seen uh, quite a considerable uh, amount of those going on. That's Jam Payne, number 11 in the green now. Jamming for Team Germany. Oh, goodness me, Gillian David taking a huge hit to the front of the pack, pulling it off from his knees. I would love to see that in slow motion. My goodness, that's going to be on the internet somewhere soon. <laughs> that was quite, he travelled quite a distance as well. He did. Just over half a minute left on this period clock. Next time is going to be a very short one if we get to it. Okay, this is going to just be a short 20 second jam in this last few seconds of the period. That's right, and Baltic, Baltic, Baltic scrambling away in the pack. A little bit of a tussle out there on uh, turn two. He's through now for an initial pass. But that is time being signaled. And it looks like we have a victory to Team France in the red. 261 over Germany in the green, 14. Thanks very much for joining us here at the Mandrola Derby World Cup on the Quad Skate Shop track. We've got going on over on the Roller Derby City track. So we've got the USA and... Playing Wales. Yeah. They will be getting away underway very shortly indeed. Yeah. I think there's about a minute left before that one gets gets started. And then on the um, quad skate shop track, the next one's going to be England versus Netherlands. 